आना जाना बंद कराए सारी जनता को समझाया है सारी जनता को समझाया है ये छुआछूत की महामारी से दो गज की दूरी पर रही हो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम देखते रही हो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम देखते रही हो खासी सर्दी बुखार आवे तो अपनी जांच कराओ तुम सर्दी खांसी बुखार आवे तो अपनी जांच कराओ तुम अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए मुंह पर मास्क लगाओ तुम मुंह पर मास्क लगाओ तुम हर दिन में तीन बार हाथों को भैया साबुन से धोयो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम देखते रहिए स्वास्थ्य कर्मी डॉक्टर पुलिस सब है आपकी सेवा में लोग इनको मारते हैं अरे भाई मारो मार स्वास्थ्य कर्मी डॉक्टर पुलिस सब है आपकी सेवा में इनको सब मिलके साथ देना ये लगे आपकी सेवा में लॉकडाउन की ना धज्जी बुढ़ाओ ये बातें सबसे कहियो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम दे दे रही हो मंदिर मस्जिद बंद कराए भीड़ न लगने पाएगी मेला ठेला बंद कराए कोई जनता कहीं न जाएगी भाई जनता कहीं न जाएगी कितने प्राणी मरे बिचारे अब अपनी फिकर करियो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम देखते रही हो ना किसी को गले लगाओ ना किससे हाथ मिलाना तुम ना किसी को गले लगाओ ना किससे हाथ मिलाना तुम कहे रामगिरी दूर से भैया सबको राम राम कहियो हम कोरोना को हराएंगे तुम देखते नमस्ते टू ऑल टुडे अखिल भारतीय वनवासी कल्याण आश्रम इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ए वीडियो टॉक ऑफ डॉक्टर सुरेश बाबू फ्रॉम केरला ही इज ए डायबिटिशियन एंड ही विल गिव इज टॉक ऑन वेरियस मेशर्स टू बी टेकन टू चेक द स्प्रेड ऑफ कोरोना वायरस we know that our country is in the midst of this pandemic it is one of the darkest period in our lifetime and this time it has spread to the village area also and our janajadi communities who live in the remotest part of the country are also affected by this deadly disease kalyanashram having its a uh, vast organizational network all over the tribal belt of india has decided to conduct health service activities in 127 districts covering more than 5000 villages we are planning to screening the patients providing medicines as well as creating awareness about increasing the immunity and attitude towards vaccination so as part of our awareness program today we are bringing out this talk which is in simple english everyone can understand very well and uh, with some demonstration he has placed this 
advice so let us hear what dr suresh ji speaks thank you hi everybody i am dr suresh senior consultant physician manarkad palakkad today i would like to present a small video regarding isolation of corona patients in home and their treatment we all know that the number of cases increasing day by day for the last 2 or 3 days the new cases were 3 lakhs 4 lakhs like that we cannot or our medical system cannot accommodate such a large number of patients initially we were treating all the patients in hospital now it is not possible so policy is to treat severe and complicated patients in hospital and other mild cases in home itself very important point we have to note that once you diagnose as a corona patient or one of your family members are diagnosed with corona you should not be or you never be panic because 90 patients 90 percentage of the patients diagnosed be corona will recover by themselves without any complications only 10 percentage will go into complications among the 10 itself only 5 percentage are going to severe complications we all know that prevention is better than cure each and everybody will be familiar with sms that is sanitizing mass and social distancing and now we have a fourth weapon in our armamentarium that is a vaccine many of us are or were reluctant to take vaccine because of the some false news spread through social media but it is proven beyond doubt that all the vaccines available in india that is covaxin and covishield vaccine both are safe and effective our two vaccines are among the 13 or 14 vaccines available in the world and these two vaccines are approved by international bodies also if you are fully vaccinated even if you get corona it will be very mild and the number of complications or seriousness will be very 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 less if you are fully vaccinated so you should vaccinate as early as possible as the, at the earliest now we will go to home isolation and treatment this is very important and we have to know three points one diet second exercise third how to monitor complications or how to monitor the patient diet we all know very simple there is nothing called corona diet it can be explained in a very simple way look this picture this is a plate it is divided into four and one fourth of the plate should be carbohydrate like rice chapati bread whatever be equal amount of that should be protein protein means dal pulses grams for vegetarian and for non vegetarian it may be fish or a chicken whatever be but thing is that it should be easily digestible as the patient is not in a position to digest very heavy food the next half or remaining half of the plate should be filled with fruits and vegetables this type of diets you will get immunity and you can fight corona very effectively other thing is exercise for exercise also there is nothing called corona exercise importance of exercise is that many corona patients are going into depression and they have some physical problems also they complains sleeplessness by doing exercise we can fight against this to some extent by doing exercise the release of dopamine serotonin like 
secretions will be more and this will increase our well-being and also sleep will increase. So what are the exercises? These are general exercises to improve our health and to increase the cardio respiratory capacity. Number one, we will relax our muscles. Flexion and extension of fingers. You can do this for 30 or 40 times. Next is wrist rotation. You can rotate your wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. This may be done for uh, 10 or 15 times. Next is shoulder rotation. You can rotate your shoulder for 10 or 20 times clockwise and also in anti-clockwise directions. For the neck, you can extend and flex your neck for 5 or 6 times. And you can move your neck to sideways, right side and left side for 5, five to 10 times. Also, you can rotate your neck clockwise for 3 times and anti-clockwise for 3 or 4 times. You can do it evening and morning and also in between if time and health permits. Now we will go to lower limb. You can flex and extend your toes for 10 or 15 times. Also, you can rotate your angle joint. You can rotate clockwise for 10 times or 5 to 10 times and anti-clockwise for 5 to 10 times. Also, you can flex and extend your angle joint 5 to 10 times. All these exercises which explain can be done in sitting posture itself if health not permits in standing position. Next is hip rotation. You can rotate your hip five or six times clockwise and anti-clockwise. If health permits, you can do push-up. That is up to you. Now we are going to exercise which will increase the lung capacity. It is also very simple. Two exercises we can do. One is hands in and out breathing. Hands in and out breathing. For that, you can stretch your arm in front of your chest and along with inhalation for four seconds, you gently bring your hands backwards. Rest there for few seconds, three or four seconds and gently by exhalation bring your arms in front of your chest. This can be repeated for five or six times. Next is angle stretch breathing. In standing position you bring your hands in front of your thighs and gently along with inhalation take your arm upwards by four seconds Along with that, the angle also should rise. Remain there for two to three seconds. After that, gently you exhale for five to six seconds and bring the hands downwards. This can be repeated for five or six times. If you are not feeling well, you can do this without stretching your angle. Gently or simply raising your hands itself or you can do it by sitting or lying down also. This is general outline for exercise. You can increase the number of exercise or decrease the number of exercise according to your health. Now we will go to monitoring of patients. Once you or your relative contract Corona and we are keeping the person or relative in our house. So what are the features or what are the things you should monitor? Mainly three features you should monitor. One, pulse rate. Second, respiratory rate. Third, oxygen saturation. Another thing, if the person shows high grade fever for more than four or five days and if he have some behavioral abnormalities it is a bad sign now how will you monitor the pulse rate you can check the pulse rate just above the wrist normal pulse rate is 72 per minute if it goes beyond 120 then we can assume that there is something going wrong next is respiratory rate how will you monitor respiratory rate you just lie down simply and put your hand 
on your abdomen you can see that abdomen is coming up while you inhale and your belly is going down while you so this movement of tummy that is coming up and going down this is one and how many times this coming up and going down occurs this is the respiratory rate normally it is 14 to 18 if it goes beyond 24 we can assume that something is going wrong another thing is oxygen saturation we all know the term happy hypoxemia syndrome that means normally if you are deficient in oxygen or if you have deficit in oxygen you will get some discomfort and you will uh, run for oxygen but in many corona patients it does not occur oxygen saturation will go down and it will reach in such a state that he will collapse and will go into serious complications so it should be prevented we can use a very simple instrument called pulse oximeter for that the normal oxygen saturation is more than 94 if oxygen saturation that is spo2 it is more than 94 you are well and good and if it is less than 94 and above 90 you are in moderate patient uh, that person ideally should be kept in ward of hospital and should give oxygen but due to the deficit of hospital beds and due to the explo rapid explosion of number of patients if you have oxygen in your house and if you have contact with some medical person like doctor you can keep the patient in your home and should monitor whether the patient is going to SpO2 less than 90. If it is between 90 and 94 and with oxygen you can increase the SpO2 it is well and good but you should monitor and if the SpO2 goes below 90 there is no doubt you have to take the patient to hospital facility. When you are keeping the patient in your house it is better to keep the patient in different postures that is for half an hour you can keep the patient in prone position that is lying down on the belly and next 30 minutes you can keep him on right lateral position and the next 30 minutes you can keep the patient on supine position that is lying on the back and next 30 minutes he, you can keep him on left lateral position this will give oxygen to all parts of the lung and a better feeling for the patient if the patient goes into complications you have to take the patient to ox to hospital and very important point you have to remember that in many patients if he is kept in prone position that is lying down on the abdomen he will get some more oxygen and he will be feeling some more comfort. <laughs>